I really like the human body. Really interesting that you can identify who that person is, even if it is not the entire body from blood, hair samples, teeth, bones. It was really the interesting factor and the crossover from in the field and into the laboratory that really drew me in. Today we're in the Biosciences Laboratory here at Griffith University and we'll be doing forensic presumptive testings. They bring the real world into your courses. We learn essentially the basics of the actual crime scene and then you go into the laboratory, you examine all the samples that you would have collected at the crime scene and then you then report on your findings. They do a really good job at incorporating the science and the forensics. You do lots of cool different testing. What I do is right at the start, right at the beginning where I kind of develop the new techniques and then I get to pass it on to the law enforcement agencies and they kind of validate that. It can potentially go on to benefit people's lives by enhancing forensic investigations. So we're going into the forensic darkroom where I visualise fingerprints under different artificial light sources. With fingerprinting there's really a broad range of things you can do depending on what component of a fingerprint you're wanting to target, you can use different techniques. So what I've been working on is hard surfaces to visualise, so things like a Skittles packet or a passport with UV security features. We've been working on long glow powders, so when the light is dulled, the fingerprint will continue to glow and that eliminates the background. So we're here at the Biosciences Research Laboratory to perform some DNA extraction and molecular biology testing. So my PhD research project is focusing on trying to identify how DNA is damaged in different circumstances in a crime scene. First thing I'm focusing on is the chemical side of it. What happens and what's added and taken away and what's destroyed. Then take it to a crime scene where I get real samples and then expose them to the same treatments and then see what they produce. Here we are at the Taphonomic Pit where we stage mock burials and do research into the decay of organisms. So my research is scanning crime scenes using light detection ranging or LIDAR to create 3D models of mock crime scenes or mock clandestine burials. There's not many places in Queensland that offer a full forensic degree and the team that was being built here when I started was a really strong forensic based team so I wanted to join them to further my skills in forensics and research. I have a really good chemistry basis and I get to apply all that to forensics which I think is really great and fun. The highlight of my course was being cross-examined by a professional lawyer. Essentially act as if we were a forensic reporting scientist and that was really an awesome experience.